Hey guys, Destin Choice here, and you're watching Choice TV. Of course, y'all saw the title, y'all just like, what the fuck? I don't do that. I pretty much don't do that. That was only a one-time thing, and this happened yesterday, bruh. Yesterday. Let's rewind back. Let's rewind back. I come home one day, and I find out I'm missing four bucket hats. And... If you've been subscribed to me or you see my other videos, you said I wear a hat in every video. I wear a hat when I go out. I love my bucket hats. I have about 15 bucket hats. And my hats are really nice. A lot of mine are expensive and custom made. Like, look at this hat. Look at it. Look at it. This is a nice hat. So, why in the world would this bitch touch my motherfucking hats knowing that I motherfucking wear hats if I motherfucking go? The bitch knew. The most important thing to him is his hat. So, this bitch, bruh, yo, this bitch took my hat and she hit him. Most of y'all might say, oh, you're assuming she took your hat. No, bitch, I know she took my hat because, first of all, the only people who were in the house, my mom was overnight. She's in the house, my brother's in the house, I'm in the house, my niece is in the house. I put them where my niece can't reach him, and I don't damn how my brother didn't touch him because me and my brother was close, and we don't pretty much touch each other's shit. So, my bucket hats are gone. And I'm not missing one. I'm not missing two. I'm not missing three. I'm missing four. Bitch is about to go down. Now, of course, I didn't, you know, automatically say, oh, wait till she gets home, wait till she gets home, or I'm gonna call my mom. No, because my mom is the type of person that if I were to tell her that shit, she would just be like, oh, you just gotta look for it. You just gotta look for it. You just gotta look for it. No one in the house would steal it because my mom is clueless. But my sister is a damn thief. Even has a damn record for shoplifting, but that's none of my business. But anyways, she has a record for shoplifting, and she stole it from me before. She's stolen my flip flops, and she's purposely thrown them away in the dumpster. This bitch took my gold watch on purpose. This bitch, y'all, this is another story, but this bitch took my phone, opened up, uh, it's a Metro by the way, don't fuck y'all, I'm not team iPhone, opened up the pack, took out the battery, Spit in my shit, put the battery back in, and pop, put that shit back in, and then handed that shit back to me, like, ain't nothing wrong with it. What's wrong with you? Who does it? That's so childish. And to remind y'all, this bitch is 26 years old with a four-year-old. So how petty and childish is that? I come home, and I'm just like, oh, I'm a little mad. Bro, I was thinking of taking this bitch green card, tearing that motherfucker up, so that bitch can get deported back to Haiti. That's the fuck I was thinking about doing. I was like, man, I'm gonna fucking tear this bitch's green card up and get her ass deported. She need to renew that shit anyways, the fuck? And when she don't go back and renew it, they gonna deport her ass right back to Haiti. I'm just like, oh wait, you know what? I thought for a second. I have to remember who I am. I'm a very mature individual. I'm very mature. I'm a very mature person for my age. And I had to remember who I was real quick. I was like, wait, let me remember who I am. I'm not childish, I'm a strong person, and petty isn't in my nature. So let me not retaliate by doing that. I was fucking, I'm gonna fuck around with Terrify High School Diploma, and shit, it wouldn't matter because guess what? She has a counterfeit high school diploma, but that's none of my business. She knows the guy. That's none of my business. She comes home, I don't say shit, I ain't say shit. Two days pass, and I say to myself, you know what, I'm still pissed about those bucket hats because those are my, I spent a lot of money on hats. I was missing $110 worth of bucket hats and it was only four. So you know my shits are expensive as fuck. So you decide that you want to touch it? Bitch, what, what, not hats, bitch, what? Okay, so of course, I'm thinking to myself, you know what, this bitch can't get away with it. This bitch can't get away with it. That's what I do. This bitch goes to the store, she buys 34 inches bundles, you know, you know what bundles are, bundles are pretty much the thing, you know the hairs that you hold in your hand, the hair, like the hair that you hold in your hand that you be seeing on Instagram, you know, bundles. She buys hair that she can put in her fucking head, and it's like really long, 34 inches, she's ready to pretty much buy it, you know, she's ready to put it in, go to the club, and get jiggy with it and all that good shit. So, this is what I do. I hide this bitch flat iron. Yo, I hide this bitch flat iron. I don't get my hats. You don't get your fucking hair done. You can't do your hair. You can't do your hair if I don't get my hats. So I hide her shit. So she wants to be petty and hide my shit. So I go.
go I go hide it. You know how every AC, y'all know how every AC pretty much has like that one closet where you know the repairman will try to fix the AC just in case there's anything wrong with it. So yeah, I go in the air conditioner closet and I toss that shit in there and I know she'll never look there. Just like, bruh. Before I do that, I look through her shit. I can't find my book hat. I go through her clothes. I open her drawers, dresser, all that. I cannot find my hats. My hats are gone. My hats are missing, bruh. I'm like, okay, you want to be petty? I'm going to be petty too. Petty's not in my nature. I don't usually do that. But it's the fact that I live with this bitch. And I'm not getting my hat back. It's been two days and my hats have not been returned to me. Okay, okay, bitch, okay. So, you can't get your hair done. Because I hate your, your flat iron, bitch. I hate your shit. And you ain't going to do shit. Because she didn't realize this until like a few hours later. She realized it the same day, but not until like a few hours later. She's going off. She's screaming. She's like, fuck it, bitch. I know it was you. Called my mom. She was like, "So why is my fly iron missing?" And then my mom was just telling her like, "So what are you telling me for?" And then she's like, "I think he took it." My mom's like, "Pass the phone to my brother." She passes her phone to my brother, and then my brother, my, she asked my brother, "Did you take it?" He said, "No." She said, "Okay, pass the phone to Choice." She passes the phone to me. She asks me. Did you take it? No. Okay. Done. And all she tells me is ignore her. She's acting the fool. She's acting crazy. She's acting stupid. She's doing the most for nothing. And you didn't take it. And your buddy didn't take it. So just ignore her because she's being stupid. So my sister's still doing the most. She's slamming doors. She's slamming dishes. She's slamming walls. She's hitting the walls. She's hitting shit. She's screaming. You know, y'all know black girls. Black girls don't play by their hair. So this bitch is like doing the most. Acting crazy. Being Ridiculous over a damn fly iron. She's screaming, that shit was $140. Clapping her hands, doing all that extra ghetto shit. That bitch ghetto as fuck. But, I'm just chilling. I got my headphones on. I'm watching my soap opera on my phone. I'm chilling. Shit. Like, bitch, you ain't gonna bother me while I'm watching my show. That was a good ass episode too. Shit. So, after that, she's coming in my room. She's going through my shit. She's opening cabinets, dresses. She just like, I know you fucking got it. So, she gave up looking, and then, she, mom, she, my mom calls her again. What's wrong with you? Why are you making noise? She says, I know he fucking got it with his fucking bitch ass, his faggot ass. And then my mom's saying, you need to calm down, you need to calm down. My mom says, pass the phone to Jeffrey. She passed the phone to Jeffrey. Jeffrey passes the phone to me. I'm like, hello, are you sure you didn't take her flat iron? I'm sure. Do I look like I wear weave? She said, okay. I passed the phone to my brother, and my brother gave the phone right back to her. So, after that, so after that, my brother was just like, damn, this bitch is going crazy. She's talking so much shit. I was like, man, I don't care. She's doing the most. It's whatever. So, she comes in my room again. This bitch walks over to my closet, where I keep my bucket hat. Luckily, I had hid all of them, but I forgot to hide one, because I had just wore it. And I was like, oh fuck. I didn't knew she I didn't know she take it to my brother told me. She took it from the closet and then she was flashing her flashlight from her iPhone to try to find another one. And then she's like, mm-hmm, okay. And she waved it, but I didn't notice because I was watching an episode on my phone. So after that, I'm just like, bruh, are you serious? My brother tells me, she just took your black hat. It was a black leather hat. A black leather hat. Scroll through my videos and y'all don't see me wearing black leather hat. So, I'm like, bruh, that's my favorite hat. And then she's walling out, going crazy. She's like, every hat you own, bitch, is in the motherfucking dumpster. Bitch, faggot ass bitch. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down. She's sticking her head in my room, talking shit like, bitch, I know you fucking took it, dumbass. And then, this is what she does. Her and kids sheets are in my room. So, she takes her kids sheets. She shakes up all the crumbs that are on the kids sheets on me, and I'm just like, you know what, I'm ignoring this bitch, I'm ignoring this bitch, I'm too strong for that, I'm too strong for that, see, think about bullies, bullies look for reaction, bullies want you to give them a reaction so that they can take advantage of all that, you feel me, I ain't giving no reaction, so, I find out my cats are in the dumpster, I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna just wait till it's like a certain time, so I can go outside, and I can retrieve them, 
guess what, bitch? You told me that. You put in the dumpster. Thank you very much, bitch. Thank you. You don't know where your flat iron is, but thank you for telling me where you put my hats. And guess what? Those four hats that were missing, she was referring to those hats, plus the ones she had just now found in my closet. And she threw all of them in a dumpster. So that's five hats. So that's $110 with a bucket hats. I'm pissed. That's a lot of money. Bitch is unemployed. The bitch is a grown ass woman. The bitch don't got a job. The bitch ain't doing shit. The bitch be asking my mama for money. And the bitch 26 years old. So obviously she can't pay back even if she wanted to. I'm pissed as fuck. I wait for it to be about, about, it's about, it's about 3.50, 3.50 in the morning. I take my ass outside and it's what I do. I'm fucking like moving. I go to the dumpster, but she said dumpster. We live in a gated community, so I wasn't sure which dumpster she was talking about. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Nigga, I looked in three dumpsters. Three, not one, not two, but three dumpsters. I look in the first dumpster. I don't see it. I don't hop in there, of course, because I'm just moving around. I go to the second one. I'm moving shit around with my hands. I'm just like, okay, I don't see it. You know dumpsters are big. So I'm just like, oh wait, you know what? She lazy, so maybe she ain't walk that far. So I went to the closest one by the house, and I was like, oh, okay, it has to be this one, it has to be this one, it has to be this one. I go, and I'm just like, oh my god, I cannot find it. There's a whole bunch of pizza boxes. Somebody had a damn cake and pizza party, bruh, frosting all over the damn dumpster, pizza boxes everywhere. So I'm just like, bruh, I'm about to hop in this motherfucking dumpster. So, that's exactly what the fuck I did. I, don't judge me, I really wanted them hats. I put one leg up, other leg up, hop in that shit, and bruh, I stepped in some motherfucking beer. Bruh, I stepped in beer, I stepped in motherfucking Corona. I swear it was Corona. The dumb smell like straight fish, ass, pussy. The worst, the worst of the worst. So, I hop in that dumpster like, bruh. I jumped in there because I ain't give a fuck. I want my motherfucking hats. This was one of the hats that were in the dumpster. Look at this hat. Look at this nice ass hat, yo. Like, you really... You're not going to retreat this shit if it's in the dumpster. You got me fucked up. I know where they are, so I'm going to retreat them. I hop in there. I'm shoving through so much garbage. I'm tossing bag after bag after bag. Because I don't want to wait till like, later so someone in the morning can see me or... You know, I, I don't have that much time and then the dumpster truck comes. I had to hurry up. So it was throughout 3.50. I was looking from 3.55 all the way up to from 4.33. That's how bad and deep the dumpster was. So I'm shoveling and I find one. I'm like, ah. Now, of course, I didn't want to put my hand too deep in there. So I grabbed this big selfie stick and I'm shoveling and shoveling and shoveling and shoveling with the big selfie stick. So I'm like, okay, okay, this is easy. I found this one. This First bucket hat I found. I'm shuffling through more garbage, more garbage, and I realized the bitch hid each bucket hat in different sections of the garbage. Bitch, you took the time of day out of your life, out of your miserable life. Bitch, you're 26 years old. Get a damn job. Get do something with your life, bitch. How old you is the fuck? Like do something with your life. Like you have so much time in the world where you decided to like put my bucket hat in different sections of the dumpster, like different parts of the dumpster, bitch, get a life, so she put boxes, she dumped trash, this bitch, she, like, she got a broom, and she like put shit deep, and she put my shit deep in the motherfucking dumpster, so I would not find it at all, she put that shit deep in the dumpster, I just spit, she put that shit deep in the dumpster, so I wouldn't find it, she shoves it down with the broom, I'm just like, obviously she did, because I see my shit is under a whole bunch of cake, Bruh, my bucket hats have frosting on them, beer, my bucket hats smell so bad, bruh, I had to throw them shits in the washer and wash them thoroughly, put that shit on heavy, put a whole bunch of this soap, put a whole bunch of, um, detergent, and I was like, bruh, I'm pissed as fuck, but before I went back in the house, I was still looking for more hats, I found four, I found four in like less than a minute, and I was like, oh shit, yes, but I was missing one more, that was my orange galaxy one, one of my favorite ones, that goes with my shoes and with my motherfucking shirts. I'm like, I'm not gonna let that shit get, go away. And so I spent $20 on that shit. So I'm shoveling and shoveling and shoveling. I finally find it. It's under a whole bunch of frosting. I was like, I don't care. Fuck this shit. Like, my heart is racing from excitement. I'm like, yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. Yes, yes, yes. So I jump out the dumpster and I run back to the house, skip back to the house, as a matter of fact. And then pretty much I was like, oh shit, I forgot my phone. And I had to run back and get my phone.
get my phone, and I was like, oh, yes, got my phone. And I go into the house, put that shit in the washer, and wash them shits. I go to my brother, I'm like, bah, I found them. And then he's just like, oh, damn, for real, I didn't think we gonna find them. So yeah, I find them. And then after that, I say, okay, do you wanna shove my bucket hats deep under the dumpster, shove it down with a broom so it'll be harder for me to find them and treat, retrieve them? Okay, bitch. Now you don't get a fine line, bitch. I go to school, you know, be a good boy, you know, do my work, you know, study, you know, I have a test today, you know, all that good shit. I gotta take my notes, you know, gotta be a good boy and go to school. You know, all that good shit. So, I'm just like, saying, you know what? I'm not even gonna be paid like this, bitch. I'm gonna give her shit to a rightful owner. Someone that deserves it, someone that'll take care of it. Cause her shit was dirty as fuck. That shit had hair glue all over it. I was just like, ew. So I pretty much offered it to these two girls that was sitting with for breakfast, and they was like, nigga, I don't want that shit, the fuck, that shit dirty as fuck, ugh. And I was like, okay, y'all don't want it, y'all want it? Nah, I don't want that shit, I already got a flyer, that shit dirty as fuck. <laughs> I told them the story, and they was laughing, they was like, oh, you crazy as fuck. And I was like, yeah, I know. So, that's what I do. I actually say, you know what, maybe no one might want, might not want it. I go to the upstairs, I go upstairs, and I'm like, you know what? I stick my head in the girl's bathroom and I toss that shit, try to toss that shit in the dumpster, but I miss. I'm just like, oh man. And I look at the bitch that's in the bathroom, because our bathroom, they don't have they don't have doors. Because you know, kids like to do legal shit in there. They don't have doors. I toss that, I stick my head in there, I toss that shit because the dumpster was right there. I looked at her, I was like, oh, can you throw away from me? Thank you. And then her and this boy was looking at me like, the fuck? Can you just throw a flat iron away? I ain't care though. So I was chilling that and I rethought it. I was like, wait. The whole time my school look a hot ass fucking mess. Maybe one of them bitches might want it. You know, there's a lot of bitches with dry ass weave in my school. Look a hot ass mess. I actually did a video on dry weave. Y'all should go check it out and put it in the description below. But yeah, I'm pretty much like, oh wait, no, there's a lot of hoes in this school that look a mess. Maybe I might find a dirty, ugly, fat, bummy ass bitch that might want it. Of course, I say, I this girl, I this girl, I'm not gonna say her name, we're gonna call her AA in this video. I say, AA, AA. Can you, can you get something for me? It's on the floor, it's like by the dumpster. And then she was like, wait, I'm not getting anything unless I know what it is. I was like, just get it for me, just get it. I'm gonna tell you what it's about. And she's like, no, what is it first? I said, flat iron. And she was like, I said, no, it's not for me, it's not for me. I'll tell you the story, I'll tell you the story, just go grab it. So I told the story, and then she just like, damn. She's like, you creep as fuck. And I was like, that bitch green as fuck. She should not tell my bucket hats the fuck. I had to thoroughly wash my shits. And then she's like, yeah, I sure hope you did, because that's nasty as fuck. And then she's like, nigga, you went dumpster diving? Uh. And I was like, yes, bitch, I did. Don't fucking judge me, bitch. These were $110 worth of hats. I had to retrieve them. So, of course, she retrieves it for me. Thank you, AA. So, I walk past some bitch in the bathroom. I walk past some bitch in the hallway. And I'm just like, oh, hey. I'm gonna call her. Gigi. I was like, oh, Gigi, you want a flat iron? She's like, how much? To remind y'all, Gigi kind of looks a mess. She was like, how much? I said, free. And she said, okay, I could use a flat iron. I can use a flat iron. And I said, okay, here. And then, pretty much, I go to her classroom. I pass my back. She puts it in her book bag. And she's like, oh, thank you. I'm like, oh, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, take care of it, bitch. Yeah, take care of it. So, that was that. It got a right the owner. You know, it got a right owner. So, at the end of the day, I'm not fucked up. Because that bitch was throwing my shit away. Her broke ass, the least the bitch could have done was flip my shit and go around selling them. Because this is some nice ass bucket ass. You feel me? Fuck, that's the least the bitch could have done. After that, I was just like, you know what? I'm at school. When I come home, my room gonna be a hot ass mess. And. Let that bitch touch my internet. Let that bitch touch my computer. Let that bitch touch my motherfucking router. Because if she had, it would have been a motherfucking problem. Not just with me, but my brother too. Because my brother used the computer too. And he needs the internet too. Because if we had this shit too, you feel me? So, yeah. We came home. We're home now. And the bitch ain't touch it. So, we happy. Yay. The bitch ain't touch it. The bitch is smart. She know better. She'll get popped in her motherfucking teeth. And I don't even hit girls. And I don't even fight. Period. But I will kick your ass in the teeth if you go too far. She just drew the line, and I had to set her straight. And guess what? Had I not, had I not touched it, had I not hit her flat iron, she would have never ever said, "That's why your shit is in the dumpster." And she never put it in the dumpster before in the first place. It was already hidden somewhere in the house. She just put it somewhere on purpose to be petty. 
And guess what, bitch? You lost a flat iron and it was her only one and the bitch couldn't do her hair. So, good for you, bitch. Don't fuck with me. So, yeah, that's that. And she gets to do her hair. She's mad. It's $140 and I was her only one. And no bundles for you. No sewing for you. No king of diamonds for you. That's a strip club, by the way. So, yeah, bitch. Don't fuck with me. And yeah, got one more story times? Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if y'all want more story times. Because I got plenty, plenty more. So yeah, trust out this bitch.